We all carry a bunch of different stuff when we're out hunting, so let's figure out the right pack for each type of hunt. Starting with the smallest backpack in our range, the vertical pack. This is 15 litres and ideal for quick hunts or if you're going light and fast. We've got two main pockets here, so you can separate different gear. There's an internal organisation in this front pocket for smaller items. A pack like this is big enough to carry your lunch, your drink bottle and a jacket. It's hydration bladder compatible. It has a basic foam flow harness. Uh, this helps with a little bit of breathability on your back. The vertical is light and streamlined and perfect for those who are only carrying the bare essentials. Moving up in size, we have the Ravine Pack. At 25 litres, this is the go-to size for a solid day pack. This size day pack will let you carry a little bit of extra gear. You can fit some more grub in there, an extra layer or two if the weather is cold, uh, a decent camera, um, and it will carry that little bit of extra weight a bit more comfortably than the vertical we just looked at. There are a few extra pockets on this pack so you can keep your gear really well organised. Uh, a slimline slash pocket on the front here for small items you need to get at quickly. Again, a top pocket on here. This is a really good spot for a GPS or an EPIRB. A side pocket with internal organisation on here for other little bits and pieces. Water bottle holder on this side. Uh, we've got a Y-shaped uh, strap on the front here. You can use this to strap a bow to. Uh, the main opening is a large horseshoe zip. So the whole pack opens right out, allowing you to get at the bottom really easily. And you can also top load it. We have incorporated our quick click rifle scabbard system so the barrel goes up through here and this clip down here goes around the, uh, the stock of your rifle just below the trigger. We're using our foam flow harness on this pack but we have added an extra frame sheet and aluminium stay system internally. This allows you to carry a lot more weight with this pack and it to be comfortable. The hip belt on the ravine is a, a bit more substantial It'll help carry a little bit more weight and distribute that weight onto your hips where it's best kept. We've also included our anchor lock system on one side so you can attach our accessory uh, pouches to this side of the, the hip belt. The Ravine is also water bladder compatible and like all our packs, we have included a blaze orange rain cover to keep your gear nice and dry in those unexpected downpours. Next up is the boundary pack. At 35 litres, this is a serious day pack for guys carrying a heap of gear or those who expect to carry meat out. This size is also perfect for an overnight hunt if you're travelling fast and light. have got plenty of pockets on the boundary to keep your gear organised. Got this small slash pocket on the front for gear you need to get at readily. A larger horseshoe shaped uh, pocket on the front here. Uh, again, we've got a pocket on the lid here. This is always a great place for a GPS, um, EPIRB, that sort of thing. The boundary is what we call a top loader. To get into the pack, we undo these and the lid pops up. We load the pack through this drawstring gusset here. And this allows us to create a really strong bulletproof design that's really easy to load. This design also gives us the ability to pack extra gear or extra meat when we're lucky. Um, instead of battling a zip and trying to cram gear back in, we can just adjust these straps and this whole lid will lift up and down depending on how much gear we've got inside here. There's a few added extras on the boundary pack. We've got ice axe loops or tool tethers if you're carrying um, walking poles, tent poles, that sort of thing. We've got these bottom straps on here. You can strap your weather gear under there, bed roll. We also have the same rifle scabbard system as our ravine pack. Uh, the same rain cover in here. It's hydration bladder compatible as well. The main difference on this pack is our airflow harness. This harness is fully adjustable, so it can fit any size back. This means that you can get a customized fit, which will allow you to carry weight more comfortably over longer periods of time. Finally, these are our summit packs. At 65 and 85 litres, these are the kind of packs you're going to want to look at for multi-day hunts. The only difference between these two packs is the size and the amount of gear that you can carry. If you're going for two to three nights, you don't have to carry a lot of water or you're not carrying a lot of gear. Uh, the 65 litre is probably the option you want to look at. If you're doing week-long missions and you're taking spotting scopes and all sorts of other 
you know, flash camera gear, all sorts of stuff, you probably want to be looking at the 85 litre pack. So like the boundary, the Summit's are top loading packs. The lid lifts up, we've got the same drawstring gusset system in here. Got our slash pocket on the front for gear we need to get at quickly and easily. Uh, the main feature that separates this from the, the boundary is this large horseshoe zipper here. Now that lets this whole panel come right open so we can get at any piece of gear within this pack at any time on your hunt. We've got the same quick click uh, rifle scabbard system. You can utilise the compression straps to carry a bow. Again, we've got the same rain cover in this pack as all of our other packs. And the most important feature of all is the frame. Now this is a foam flow harness, similar to what we use in the boundary pack. Uh, again, it's fully adjustable for any size torso. We have added side stabilisation bars here. Now this allows us to put a little bit of extra weight further forward and, and wider on the hips. Um, and that lets you carry a, a heavier load for a lot longer. And it will also help stabilise that load when you're travelling over rough ground. As we go up in pack size, we can fit more gear in there. And so in turn, we end up carrying more weight. So that's why we need a really strong, durable, stiff frame and harness. And also why all our fabrics and our stitching and everything has to be top notch and super durable. So to sum it up, we've got a heap of different packs for different types of hunting. You've just got to figure out which pack is going to suit you best. If you want more information, have a look at all the individual pack pages on our website.